Hey, comic book community, Long Box Love Affair here. I have a very special video today. This spotlights all of my commission sketches and comic book artist drawings that I've had on comic book covers, blank or remarked on existing cover art that I've been able to collect over time, mostly in person with the artists at conventions and then some at uh, on, you know, through eBay or through other sellers. So uh, before I get into this video, before I spotlight these comics, uh, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Thumbs up if you like what you see. Hey, I am on Instagram as Lombox Love Affair, and I just joined Whatnot, the comic selling app. So be sure to click the link down below to enter your Whatnot app and, and subscribe to me, because once I have enough subs subscribers, I'll move forward and I'll start doing auctions on whatnot as well. eBay will be primarily where I'm at. Link also down below. But make sure you uh, start start following me on whatnot if you're a whatnot user. So thanks in advance. Let's get into this crazy spotlight haul. So there's no real particular order to this, although I do have some favorites I'm going to show you first off, just to whet your appetite. So the first one I'm going to show is an eBay purchase. I've met this artist, Nick Bradshaw, one of my favorite cartoony artists out there. And I met him at a convention when I wasn't ready to get a sketch from him. And I was only going to be at this convention for two hours. It was during my 40th birthday in Montreal. And I, I didn't get a sketch. I wish I did didn't have the opportunity. So a lot long ago, I found one on eBay right before the pandemic. And I'll just show it to you. Infinity Gauntlet Thanos Nick Bradshaw sketch. So it's validated by CGC or CBCS actually. I don't care. It's just validated. Uh, I don't even care that it's graded a 9.6 with sketches. I don't care. It's all about the art quality. But look at this. Thanos with this color and just really cool pose. This is, I love this book. This is one of my favorites in my collection and I've had it not too long. Uh, just really cool Thanos Nick Bradshaw sketch. This next one is another favorite, Sean Chen. So I reached out to Sean. He was coming to Baltimore Comic Con several years ago and I said, would you do a commission for me? I got his rates and very reasonable, very reasonable. And he, I sent him this cover in advance and he actually agreed to do that, drew this in advance. So I, if an artist will do that, I much prefer that because you get much more detail. So I said, I like Wolverine and Cyclops and Dark Phoenix. So I gave him some combos and he chose Wolverine versus Dark Phoenix. The detail on that, crazy. You see the line work even in the logo. This was a blank comic book sketch cover. So it was prime for Sean. I would love to get Sean to do another book for me. Uh, maybe if he comes to another con, I'll be able to have that opportunity. But another pinnacle for my collection. Years ago, I was able to make a deal on eBay. Bought this amazing Uncanny X-Force cover, Strife versus Cable. This is my sweet spot of collecting. 90s goodness. Rob Liefeld time period with these characters, but obviously this is not Rob, this is Clayton Crane. This is an early Clayton Crane before people were really jazzed about him. They're like crazy people into, the, into Crane, and I love him too. I, I think he does great stuff. So this was from 2015 he did this sketch. So it's about a seven-year-old sketch. I bought this for like $350 on eBay. I followed it. No one bought it. I hedged. I hedged. It's a lot of money, especially for me back then. I was like not willing to commit. But the, the seller and I talked and he made me a, a, a best offer type of deal and I took it. So look at this. I've had people offer to buy this from me on Facebook groups, um, which is super tempting, but I know I'll never be able to get a sketch like this, especially with characters I love. Um, he just does not do these at cons. I don't see that happening much, if at all. So this is what I would consider a rare piece of Clayton Crane artwork. Most of his work that he will do at cons is selective, and it's just a bust. David Finch doing Cable. So this book came with a story. So I was on the David Finch sketch list back, gosh, Five, four, four years ago, maybe, I, I re-emerged on the comic scene going to Baltimore Comic Con and was trying to get these sketches, worked with comic sketch art, got on his list. I think I was first on his list. And then I, 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 I went on Sunday to pick it up and they're like, sorry, he, he didn't get, it, get to it. I was like, oh, okay. 
So I got my money back. And they said, next time he comes, let us know and we'll put you at the top. So next time he came, I think uh, he was supposed to be there. He canceled. But Comic Sketch Art told me, they're like, give us the sketch cover and we'll have him do it for you. So that's exactly what happened. It took some time, but I got this rad looking cable. I don't, I mean, like I said, I don't care about the 9.4. I mean, it's passed a lot of hands, so I don't care about that. But I got the cable. I got, got uh, classic David Finch. Um, my gosh, I don't think, I don't remember how much I paid for this. But his rates were, are, have been going up. So I'm not sure how often he is doing sketch covers these days, but I had to get this off cycle and uh, have the facilitator send it to me. For the longest time, I've wanted a Ron Lim sketch. So I bought one eventually off of eBay, but before that, I was working with a facilitator, someone that knew him uh, through a Facebook group that I've been part of. Now that seems a little risky and I was a little worried about that. So I, I worked with this particular person to send him my blanks he validated, I can't remember how he validated to me, but I had other people in the Facebook group um, validate his, his worth, his um, reliability. And that's a big thing because when you're sending $350, $600, $700 for a couple sketches, that is important. So I got into Ron Lim's queue and picked them up in New Jersey in 2019, I think it was. So what I asked him to do was two. I asked him to do Warlock and I asked him to do Silver Surfer versus Thanos. So I'll show you the Warlock first. Pretty awesome. Now, Ron Lim's Silver Surfer, Cosmic, Thanos stuff is my jam. That is how I started reading comics. I learned about most of the Marvel characters through Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet 6 was my first of that run. I had to go backwards, but this is paramount to the type of collecting I do. This is like the kind of art I love. He knocked this out of the park. What you might not be able to tell from the video is there are like blue lines where he outlined and sketched like a very preliminary and then drew in the pencils. And so this is all pencil work. It's not marker. It's not heavy. Uh, it doesn't, it didn't smudge. It's just super cool. So I asked for Warlock with an Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity number one, which looks like the template for one of his new Silver Surfer covers that he's done. I much prefer this than the colored work that's going out right now. I don't like the colorist he's working with. I think it dulls the, the work, but the detail here, we got Thanos, we got Silver Surfer, we got cosmic stuff going on. How awesome is that? But if you look, you'll notice that it does look like that issue that just came out. And I bought this back in 2019. So this has been out for a while, and it's probably a, po a pose that he uses quite a bit. But, you know, uh, I don't care. It's an original piece. Uh, he had it ready for me. I picked it up. It was already paid for. It's mine. Love it. Pinnacle in my collection. We'll stick with the cosmic stuff for now. I have a very big tendency to pick these types of characters, so I picked Thanos for Tom Rainey. I had asked for a full body sketch and was a little disappointed that he did this instead. I think his fees were different for bust versus sketch and I just, uh, or bust versus full figure, but I just didn't uh, call him out on it. But that's okay, because the level of detail he did was for this was awesome. Look at the stars in Thanos' eyes. I mean, I, this is a really cool piece. I got this at Baltimore Comic Con, picked it up on Sunday, dropped it off, dropped the cover off on Friday, picked it up on Sunday. I'd love to get a couple other sketches that I have in mind from him. He's a, a favorite of, of mine. I do appreciate Tom Rainey's artwork. Jim Chung Thanos. Another Thanos. Can you tell I'm a Thanos fan? Look at this. Cool, cool, cool. I bought this in 2018 through a facilitator. They got my sketch cover. I sent it to them. And he went to Torpedo Comics and got this book for me. So it was during one of Jim's signings. Uh, this facilitator was Planet Awesome Collectibles, which doesn't seem to be doing much anymore. So I was lucky to get in and have them uh, be able to facilitate this and some other things for me back in the day. The day, So awesome Thanos cover. You've seen this pose before. He did this in a recent variant cover to Eternals that came out just this year, year or change. Those sketch covers that Jim Tung did uh, for different Marvel books. But uh, I have a feeling he gets asked to do Thanos a bit because of his work on Infinity. Anytime I can get a sketch cover colored or 
you know, either beforehand, like scheduling it with the colorist or automatically done, it's a given for me because uh, it, it just looks so beautiful. Another times where like colored pencils are not my favorite, but this is more like ink uh, paint of some sort. So this is Ryan Stegman. Bought this before people really caught on to Ryan Stegman. Before his Venom days, this was a sketch done in 2017. I think I bought it in 2018 and I bought it through Planet Awesome Collectibles eBay page. They had a couple. In fact, I also bought this one, the Scarlet Spider Stegman. So both of these, well, I bought them different times. This one was sticking around and I was like, I'll snag this. And I think I bought this off of uh, Instagram. So one was eBay, one was Instagram. Great deals. I think I paid less than $300 for each of these. I can't remember the exact cost, but it was cheap. So you can't get a quality Stegman sketch now for that price. And the ones, the remarks he's, he, did, he did for CGC were not of what I would want, to be quite honest. I, I, you know, I think some of them turned out great and some of them turned out not so great. But this full figure, this colored by uh, Edgar Delgado. Yep, Edgar Delgado. These were done in 2017. Colored, you know, five months separate from each other, but so, so cool, so cool. And to get in on the artist before he catches steam is really amazing. So you might have seen my recent video with the Ryan Otley sketch that I picked up, the Wolverine rockin'. Like, I love everything about this sketch. It's amazing to me. I picked it up, paid a little bit for it, but I feel like the detail is more I could get than I could get um, from him otherwise. His typical sketch is what you would call this one. And this is uh, Invincible. This is Conquest, bloodied up. So this, this sketch came with a story that you may have seen a video a couple years ago about. I, I, I went through the facilitator. I went through Planet Awesome Collectibles again, and I didn't see the book. He gave the book to Otley. He never got the book back, supposedly. And then he ghosted me and had some series of events in his family, apparently, that I'm not aware of. But uh, eventually hounded him down, uh, the facilitator, not Otley, the Planet Awesome Collectibles. And there, I think this might have been one of his last things he did. He got me this sketch for free. And I appreciated that, but I also told him, I was like, you don't have to grade this for free. If you're going to do the sketch for free, great. I appreciate that. But uh, it would be great if you just put it on my CGC tab. So it did. I could track it. And this came in awesome, Otley. So you see the difference. Lots of time and shading and color, and this is one of his more quicker sketches, but equally as awesome. An Instagrammer offered this up on their feed a while back. I remember I, I jumped out of a movie theater in order to get reception and, and claim it when I saw it. Greg Land, Mary Jane as the Iron Spider. Kind of his classics, his pose. Like it, I almost feel like he can only draw women crouched down uh, like this. But the Spider-Man costume, Mary Jane, I don't have a Mary Jane sketch. Well, I do, um, but uh, John Romita Jr. butchered her. So uh, that's not in this haul. I don't have that book in here because it's not a favorite. But this is an awesome slab. I wish, I can't remember the Instagram where I picked this up for, so, from. So if you're in the, if you're watching this, put your information down below so I remember. But awesome stuff. Rob Liefeld goodness, 90s goodness, Deadpool, was able to snag this for a really decent price on eBay. I think I got it for between five or $700. And that's pretty good for a Rob sketch. And I was ideally looking for cable, but Deadpool obviously is a home staple to pick out. Um, this was my second sketch from, from Rob. I did facilitate his one and maybe only CGC or early CGC um, uh, signings, I went through a facilitator and got a remark. So you'll see it's his, one of his first cable remarks ever. And he did the Liefeld signature cable down here. He did a, a series of these through this facilitator. I think it might've been New York comics or something like that on, on Instagram. Can't remember exactly. Signed it, but sort of a mini sketch cover because he did sketch uh, with whiteout down here with cable. Brandon Peterson Cyclops. So he doesn't take too many sketches at conventions, apparently, so says he. But I was able to get on his list. It's around $300 for this, and it's watercolor. Turned out awesome. Like, I told him classic psych, 
Uh, I, it was wavy cover because of the watercolors. It still got a 9.8, which like I said, I don't care so much about the grade, but look at that. The colors, I love the green, love it. Uh, and I, I just said, it'd be nice to have a little optic blast or something coming out of his eyes. And look at that, that is exactly what he did. This is a favorite. And Brandon isn't like what I would consider my top find in terms of an artist that I, I always follow, but I, this is one of my favorite sketches. Maybe it's the color, maybe it's his, his uh, attention to detail, but because he only took on a handful of sketches, this, this is a, a, a great depiction and exactly what I wanted. Mark Texera did this amazing ghostwriter sketch for me. Like, look at that. If you see within the eyeballs, there is a skull in there. He did this in 2019, the same time I got the Brandon Peterson work. Got another one too, I think the Tom Rainey. So he hemmed and hawed about doing this. He didn't seem to want to do the negative type of space thing with the, the white, but it turned out awesome. He does it more so now, but it might have been one that he did begrudgingly. But excited to have this. Again, it was just a random Midnight Suns cover, and it's like the parchment paper cover. It's a ghostwriter book um, from the Midnight Massacre, so it's number 40. Thought that would be a cool one to get a sketch cover on. This is one of my first. So the first sketch cover I ever got done was by Ed McGinnis, and I don't think I picked that one up for this. Um, it was a cool havoc, but this Walt Simonson, Apocalypse, I saw someone had one of these and was trying to sell it on Instagram back when I was getting into the YouTube and Instagram game, and they were asking a lot of money on, on um, Instagram. And I was like, ah, I think I can try my luck and see if when he comes to Baltimore, which he comes all the time, if, if he would do a sketch for me. So you wait in the monster line because Walt Simonson and Louise Simonson always have a huge line. So sometimes he's sketching and signing, sometimes he's just signing. I lucked out that he said he was gonna sketch at a certain time and would sign too, but it was just a certain time he would dedicate. So I was able to get this. He does it for free. You're to, asked to donate to the Hero Fund, which is always a good cause, but he doesn't charge you a premium. He doesn't charge you $200 or something. He does this there on the spot. Classic Apocalypse. I think of Walt Simonson. I think of X Factor. I think of Apocalypse. This is a good one for me. Robbie Rodriguez, more of a recent acquisition for me, maybe five videos or so ago, but got this awesome Psylocke on eBay. I figured it's colored. It is beautiful. It is a character I love. Why not? This is classic Robbie style. Definitely has some manga influences. Look at the paint in her hair. Great. I mean, I got a great deal on this. I got this for like 250, I think, if I'm remembering. Much cheaper, in my opinion, than dealing with going to a con, finding the artist, stressing about whether they're going to do a sketch, and getting it, and then getting it slabbed, which is like another 40 some odd dollars, and shipped back to you. So, it's really less than $200 for the artist's signature. And that's kind of the thing that I have to weigh when I'm buying versus commissioning directly. Rare CBCS slab, an art slab. This is my Bob Camp sketch from Indiana Comic Con this year in 2022. Was that when I went? Yep. And it is Thanos getting bitch slapped by Ren and Stimpy. I mean, I love this type of thing. I'd love to get a Bill Morrison sketch uh, when he's coming to Baltimore. But, uh, and, and I keep saying Baltimore because that is the largest con closest to me. Uh, that said, I do go to other cons and try to scout out other artists. But I just love the uniqueness of this. He only took on one sketch cover and I kind of had a beg and just talked to him a little bit. So awesome. I love this book. A Jim Lee remark. I did sell some X-Men Jim Lee books to an awesome guy on Instagram. And I decided since I have this one and I love this book so, so much, that I could get rid of the other ones and pass them on to another collector. I do have a Batman on a blank, a blank bat black cover that I would love to get Scott Williams to add some extra uh, inks over it. And that might be a project in the future. But right now I got this Jim Lee, look at that. So that's, this is a remark added to an ex existing cover. And I said, I saw someone else have this type of thing done. And I was like, let me try to get that. They were trying, they were asking like $900 for that book. And I was like, I can get that for half the price. And that's what I did. So I sent this in through Rocket Comics. They had an opportunity back at the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. It took about eight months to get back to me. And it went to 
them for Alex Sinclair, Scott Williams, and Jim Lee. So when it got to Scott and Jim, they said Jim did so much detail that they gave me a refund for the other artists because they couldn't contribute anymore. And I think it just is beautiful. I, I love his Wolverine. I love his Wolverine in costume. So uh, definitely a nice collecting moment for me. More remarks. So I got this uh, Secret Wars at an estate sale back in like 2017 or something like that. Pressed it, came out a 9.8. How crazy is that? And I didn't know it was a 9.8 before I had Mike Zek and John Beatty uh, sign and then Mike Zek sketched. So look at that, uh, that symbiote sketch. I didn't realize until later that it, it's not as uh, fine-tuned as I had expected because of the, the ink, um, whenever he uh, did it, the ink ran a little bit, but that's okay, that's okay. Awesome Secret Wars book, one of my favorite books. So I, yeah, remarked, super fun. Another remark that came out really well is the Scotty Young Spidey. So he did a Ghost Rider for me on a very busy cover, and that's my fault. I sent him a very busy cover. So this one, a lot of open space, a lot of cool colors to it, so that any Spidey anywhere would have some really nice uh, background color to him. So he's got the yellow and the blue. And it's just hanging. It turned out really nice. He incorporated it into the logo, into the webbing. I just, I, I couldn't be happier with this. And I got a 9.8 and I got in the label. I bought this off eBay. And I don't even know if I pressed it. What would this haul be without my recent acquisition of my Neil Adams Cyclops sketch? So I, this is the pose I wanted. I regret not getting this one. He was still with us. And, you know, I'm going to get this reholdered. Thanks everybody for the feedback on that video. I am going to get it reholdered and try my luck and see what happens. But wanted to get this in this particular video for posterity's sake. And sentimental value, last but not least, my stray dogs with Walter. This is my pup, smiling. He usually looks a little stoic, but uh, I, I showed him this slab. I tried to do a video of it and it just didn't work out and I just wanted to get it open and see what, he, he, what it looked like and if they did his likeness. So this is from the CGC signing where you sent in a picture of your dog and they did their best to emulate that on the sketch cover. So it took about eight months more maybe, but it turned out so good. I showed it to Walter. He looked a little suspect. He wasn't quite sure what to think about this, but all in all, I am very happy. And all of my, my dogs that I've had in my life, I've always gotten sketch covers, uh, not sketch covers, I've always gotten art to some degree from uh, of them to, to keep them in, in with me and to display them at, on the walls and, and, and memorialize them. So Walter is here, he is in sketch format. I love it. So that is my haul. That is not every sketch cover I have, but it is, the cream of the crop. These are all ones I love, that I'm excited about. I have heard you in the comments when you said it's time to redo uh, a new CGC uh, collection overview, and I will do that to some degree. I'm trying to figure out, and what I think I'm going to do is uh, a, a series of different videos, because I have a lot of CGC books now. It's really ballooned. It is crazy. And I've been selling some and trying to make room in the collection for more and, and you know, whatever. So I will be doing more videos uh, spotlighting my CGC personal collection as it stands currently. But this one is, is for you sketch lovers out there that, that love working with artists. I mean, we're all in this medium and we love comic book art. I would hope that's why, that's one of the reasons why you are into comics. You don't read comics because you hate the art, or you, you don't read them if you hate the artwork. So I'm a big art fan, and so that's that's what I've done. So I appreciate you being with me today. If you are new to my channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I said, I am on Whatnot, I am on Instagram, Longbox Love Affair, all one word, so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe there, subscribe here, and be up to date on all my comic book hauls. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.